Welcome to Nakalin TV so mando lagawas. Ami so picha na isina ito Independence Day to celebrate cruelty ita to tweetin ikla baje kina sa. Aro ami ang chana isina ito saldo ito Independence Day celebrate cruelty kani Nakalin State BGB kambra alak alak activities aro programs kan bipir kru kina sa. Aro aji ito 13 of August day ito aji Bike Rally Takeshi Supermarket Bra, Ari to Bike Rally to National Secretary and Spokesperson Sri Anil Antoneva in the flag of Croatia. Ari to Rally Day around 170 to 200 bikers can participate in Croatia. To Ahibi, it to Rally the Opera Detail Saisawa. This week, starting from the 9th of August, across India, the initiative that was started by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, the Hargar Tiranga programs are being happening and is being held across India. Throughout history since independence, our national flag, our Tiranga is one of the heart and soul of our country, our republic. But the relationship we always had with our national flag has been very formal. But once our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji started leading this country, he started changing things. And in the eve of our 75th independence, two years back, when the Asadi Ka Mahotsav started being celebrated across India, our Honorable Prime Minister also started taking the initiative to make our relationship with our national flag more personal. So since then, the Hargar Tiranga programs have been successfully conducted across India, where we encourage every citizen of this country, in every house, to raise the Tiranga at their house on the eve of the Independence Day and to make the Tiranga a part of their life. In a so this week, a multitude of events are being held across India. It started between from the 11th. From the 11th, we have been encouraging, led by our Prime Minister, we have been encouraging every citizen to raise their flags on the eve of Independence Day. Our party members, the Bharatiya Janata Party, as well as a lot of common citizens across India. From the 11th of this month, Tiranga Yatras are being held and are being celebrated across India. Today there was a bike rally in uh, Dimapur, Nagaland that uh, uh, the Nagaland State Unit uh, had organized, led by the State President Benjamin Ji. Similarly, there are rallies, there are marathons, there are uh, padayatras, etc. happening in almost every constituency in Nagaland and across India. Uh, similarly, alongside that, and there are multiple other uh, events and that are all um, linked to the Tiranga that will be celebrated across India, even in Nagaland. Uh, we will be honouring all our um, freedom fighters, our soldiers, our war veterans, war memorials, etc. today and tomorrow also across India, including in Nagaland. Tomorrow, um, uh, Bharatiya Janata Party leaders will be um, honouring the war memorial in Kohima. So similarly, all these events are linked to the Tiranga, it is linked to our Independence Day, and it is a clarion call by our Honourable Prime Minister to um, our citizens, all our 140 crore people, to join our Independence Day celebrations and to have a personal bond with our Tiranga. Uh, so, almost, uh, um, almost exact number I believe is around 170 um, and um, it has been a very, very um, good event. A lot of public participation was also there. Uh, I think overall distance was around 20 kilometers and across the road from both sides. There were so many, there were thousands of people who were uh, supporting the um, the riders, so it has been a very good event. So again, uh, this is also uh, linked to the uh, Independence Day campaign itself. And across the state of Nagaland, in every uh, district, uh, today, yesterday, tomorrow, cleanliness drives are being conducted. Uh, especially, um, these are all um, uh, in places where we have war memorials and where we have statues of our freedom fighters and our soldiers, etc. So this is all part of the campaign. So from 9 to 15th, almost every single day, there are multiple events that are happening across India. So uh, um, uh, most of it is in the morning, um, but there are events happening across. As part of the Hargar Tiranga Abhyan, we have a week-long program all across Nagaland. It all started on the 9th. We had a press conference. 
on the 11th since being Sunday. We do not hold any program on Sunday. So on the 12th, we had a flag distribution program all across Nagaland. On the 13th today, we had a bike rally and we will also be uh, putting up the, our Tiranga flags in all the houses. On the 14th tomorrow, that is tomorrow, uh, we had a Swash Bharat this morning all across Nagaland from 6 a.m. to 7.30. Tomorrow, by 8 to 9, all across Nagaland, we are going to pay tribute to our national, to our freedom fighters, which will be done in Kohima, most probably. I mean, Kohima is the only place where we have this war memorial. So, our Prabhariji and our honorable ministers and the party people will be accompanying him to Kohima. From there, we will be coming down again, down back to Dimapur, where we will have a small program on the partition, the freedom, how we got the independence and all. We need to <coughs> uh, send a message across to the people. Then, in the evening, we have a silent march. Silent march. Then, tomorrow, uh, the, the next day on the 15 August, we have a small program that is in the evening. We are having a program in a railway, Nitaji Colony, where we are uh, giving food to the needy people under the name Feed the Needy Campaign. That's the program we are having all over Nagal all over Nagaland, not just Dimapur. The bike rally today we had was not just in Dimapur. We had in Kohima, we had in Twangsang, we had in Mon, we had in Kifri, Longland, all other districts we had. So simultaneously, whatever programs are going here in Dimapur, it is going all over Nagaland. So That's all. You, Thank uh, you. Uh, from <coughs> point, ending point for the bike, bike rally. Today? Yes. Today we started from supermarket. Then we uh, went to Chumu. From there we turned over and then Burma came, the Charge Road, Sea Tower. Then we out here to Taiko Village for a small refreshment and then we will all disperse. So like we have already mentioned, one more uh, major event that we will be having tomorrow, and that is on the 14th evening, is the commemoration of the horrors that happened during the partition. Uh, the partition was one of the darkest chapters in our country's history and so much atrocities happened during that period. Over 2 lakh people were killed uh, during different riots. Almost 2 crore people were displaced in different sides of the borders. And so much atrocities happened because of certain kind of divisive politics. At this moment, our major opposition led by Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the Indian National Congress and most of the members of the India Alliance they are once again trying to polarize the society based on religion and they are again trying to divide the society based on caste lines. We have already seen the dangers of this kind of politics and tomorrow once again we are remembering, we are once again rem remembering uh, the horrors that happened during the partition. We are um, paying tributes to all the innocent people who died during that time. And it is a reminder once again that this kind of politics nor these kind of events should never be repeated in this country. So that is another event that, should, that we are having. So overall, uh, the, uh, from the 9th of this uh, month till the 15th, a series of events um, are being held to commemorate, uh, to celebrate our independence, day, remember some of the past and also ensure that uh, there is national integrity and national unity and we work together and we move together as a nation. In the last 10 years since our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji started leading this country, um, especially in this area because um, one of the Prime Minister's biggest focus points has always been the Northeastern region. In the last 10 years our Prime Minister has visited the Northeastern region almost 70 times, that is more than 
uh, any leader, any prime minister in modern history. And the prime minister himself uh, initiated the Act East policy, uh, where in the last 10 years almost uh, 6 lakh crores have been spent in various developmental initiatives here to increase connectivity, to increase infrastructure, to connect India's northeastern region to uh, other parts of South Asia, Southeast Asia. And this region is now seeing phenomenal growth and the northeastern region is now more uh, connected to the uh, rest of India than any time in the past. It's fully integrated. And this week is once again a good reminder for everybody across the country that we are a single nation where um, everybody are working together uh, in our Prime Minister's vision of being a fully developed country by, uh, in the next uh, 25 years. And um, I, all these are events where we are celebrating our uh, nation's rich diversity, our nation's integrity and unity. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.